Health kids, what's the crack? How are we doing? Good to see you. Do you remember last week's challenge about how you should treat someone how you would want to be treated? If you did that, really good job. Okay, let's get into our memory verse for this week. So our memory verse is, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. And that's from Psalm 145 verse eight. Let's say it together. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Psalm 145 verse eight. Okay, now time for our story. And this is one of my absolute favorite stories in the, the, the whole entire Bible. Uh, so this is the story of the prodigal son. And so in the story, there's a father and he has two sons. And so the younger son, he says to his dad, I want to have my inheritance now, which is basically like saying, I wish that you were dead so that I could have the money you would leave to me. And not an awful thing to say, that's just, that's just terrible. But the father, he loved his son anyway, and he gave him the money. And so the son, he went off and he had loads of money and he was going to party like there was no tomorrow. I mean, what would you do if you had loads of money? Would you go to Morelli's and get an ice cream with one of every flavor and it's gonna be so tall? That sounds like a good idea. Or would you go to Smith's and get a, a box of Lego that's the height of you? Because the Lord knows that a big box of Lego would be expensive. I know if I had all that money, I would go to the middle aisle in Ikea and just buy all the random stuff that's in there. You know, I mean, do I need a toaster, some garden furniture and an angle grinder? No, but you know, I'm rich, so who cares? So anyway, this son, he eventually runs out of money and he's wasted it all. And that's where, that's what the word prodigal means. And so this guy is in a really low place. He's just not, he's just not good. And he ends up feeding pigs. And he's so jealous of what the pigs are eating that he wishes that he was eating them as well. That he was eating what they were eating. Now I know some people watching feed pigs and they feed them well, but these pigs, they were not fed very well. And so this guy was fed up and he just thought, you know what, maybe I'll just go back home. I can go back and just work for my father on his land. and because it's much better than feeding these pigs. And so he decides, yeah, I'll just go back. I don't want to be treated like the son I was before. I'll just go back and work for him. And so he starts going on his way back home and he's still up the road. He hasn't come into the house yet. And his father comes running. He sees him far away and he comes running and he starts hugging him and kissing him. And he's like so, so pleased to see his son again. And the son's like, no, no, no. I, I just want to work with you. I just want to work for you. I don't want to be the son that I was before. And the dad's like, wise up, like, you're my son, I'm so pleased that you're here. We're gonna get the barbecue lit, we're gonna have a party because you were lost and now you've been found again. And Jesus told us this story because he wants us to know that the father in this story is, is that's what God's like. God loves us and he wants what's best for us. Even though we might, you know, hurt God's feeling, you know, and just think, oh, we're not good enough, like we've messed up, I just can't, I just don't want to go back. God, God is not angry, he just wants you to know that he loves you and he's got hugs and kisses and he's just so happy to have you back with him. And so let's finish by praying. God, I just uh, pray that um, just that when we mess up and we just feel that we can't come back to you, that you would remind us that we're so welcome and that we can bring all our troubles to you. Amen. Okay. Your challenge for this week is to remember to pray to God if you've done something wrong. And don't, and don't be afraid that God will be angry or he'll just not want you back because that's not true at all. Okay, thanks for listening. That's it for me, but you know what's coming. So everyone up on their feet, we're gonna get ready to sing and dance. And our song this week is Our God is a Great Big God. Our God is a great big God.